Hello, this is Messengeros and I invite you to watch my 8th episode of my Black Ops 2 Zombies Weapon Guide. Let's get started. Today we are having a closer look at the full automatic shotgun with rechamber every 4 rounds, the M1216. It can be only obtained from the mystery box on every map released, except Mob of the Dead. It can be also dug up by using shower in Origins. This shotgun guarantees you one shot kill up to round 20 on a very close range. After a pack a punch, it is capable of quickly sweeping off the entire horde within seconds on high rounds. Although it has the lowest damage among all shotguns, it is a very good choice for men during and high rounds. It has the largest magazine capacity within class, 16 shells, but in trade-off our ammunition lasts for 3 reloads. It has moderate hip fire spread, but pellet rounds provide multiple hits, so large hip fire is definitely an advantage. With this weapon you won't be suffering from ammo only, but also points. It is good to have this gun later in the game, after you accumulate large ammo of points. On low rounds you should take care of your points by combining this weapon with something less powerful, but with large ammo capacity, like LMGs or assault rifles. So if you acquire this weapon early, this can be a good weapon for spawn rush with galvanacles. Each 4 shot burst is fired rapidly, killing enemies and also drying your magazine quickly, although if the zombie is not killed before the rechamber, it leaves you vulnerable to any kinds of blocks. Normal reload time is 3 seconds. 3.38 seconds with empty magazine. With speed cola we get 1.5 seconds. And 1.74 seconds with empty magazine. Note that speed cola doesn't increase rechamber speed after 4 shots. Only double tap will do it. To enhance your damage with this weapon, if the map allows, by the Chodai query. This perk shrinks your hipfire spread and also gives you a greater chance to hit a zombie into the head from the hip. In our strategy, M1216 isn't used as a primary weapon, so speed cola isn't as much needed for this weapon as double tap. It doubles the aim mode of pellets in a single shell meaning it doubles the damage and one-shot kill rounds are higher. If you choose rush strategy, a perfect perk for running is of course stamina. It can also save your life on origins because of mud. After pack a punch, the M1216 becomes the mesmerizer. Magazine capacity grows to 24, also bursts are increased to 6. The cap grows to 72 shells. With double tap, this weapon has the ability of killing zombies in one shot up to round 30 at close range. The first attachment is probably the long barrel. The weapon look doesn't change, but you get a feeling that one shot kill distance is slightly greater. Despite the lack of certainty, I recommend this attachment as it's more useful for our strategy than the second attachment, Red Dot. These weapons already have a clear sight, but also we don't need to aim with this weapon very much. After upgrade, it is a truly weapon for emergency situation. On high rounds you can combine it with DSR-50. It has no splash damage compared to the ray gun. As an added bonus, zombies killed with the mesmerizer will turn into a bloody mist, quickly clearing the way for an escape. Summarizing, M1216 is a fast killing machine. With right perks, it has massive damage output and high mobility. The damage drastically drop with range, so if you want to do such a great damage, you must risk your life to get close to the horde. Another disadvantage is reloading time and the rechamber magazine. It forces you to count your shots. Also, reserve ammo isn't sufficient too. 
but if you don't like to take care of accuracy, this weapon is just for you. A setup with Mesmerizer, Porter X2 Raygun Mark II and Dead Specimen Reactor 5000 gives you one of the highest damage output per second in the game. And remember, if you need help, call in the Mesmerizer. Thanks for watching, this has been Messengeros. Look for the next episodes.